cool thing this game does is that when it loses focus, it pauses. Uh, good Flash games do that, but it deserves a mention anyway, because it's really annoying when that doesn't happen. ZOMBIES! Raw. I should stop doing that, it hurts my voice. And, well, it hurts my throat, my voice does not feel pain. It just causes pain. Okay, axes are way better than I, give th I gave them credit initially. I just avoided the hell out of them, but they throw pretty fast. Look at that. They th throw at varying speeds, it looks like, though, so that's odd. Anyway, anything that throws fast enough that the recoil actually, like, blocks enemies from hitting you, that's a good-ass weapon. It's a good-ass weapon, haha. -ha. Anyway. Health that I don't need. I'm surprised I don't need health yet. Ow. Now I do. Bow. I already showed you the bow. So, the axe is actually, I guess, pretty okay. Especially for bosses. But, it's just the art is sort of annoying. And unlike the Castlevania axe, it doesn't go through stuff. The Castlevania axe goes through stuff, right? I think. And it's pretty good against those stupid gargoyle things that I hate and want to die. Brr. Die. I should be using mana more. Not like that. But the mana, I usually save it for the shuriken thing, because it gives you, the shuriken's magic attack gives you a shield, which is pretty cool. Well, it's sort of cool. It's also very limited. Ow, I forget you could do that. Die. Thank you. Those zombies look so weird. Cemetery 2. Raw. I am here. I so needed you to show me that game. I so cared. I carried my pants off. I'm no longer wearing pants. Wait, that's too much information. Book of Knowledge! Ow! I really need that knowledge because I'm a moron. Wisdom. Whatever. I am now wiser. I am... Ah! I am older and wiser. Because I got a potion. Die. I said die. Stop swiveling. Die. Thank you. I also like the skeletons have, like, white blood stuff. It's like bone dust, I guess. Oh, I thought I was going to get hit. I didn't, because I'm awesome. Ah! I did get hit there, though. I'm not awesome enough to avoid that. Oh, crap. Go away. Go away. Die. Thank you. Dagger sucks. Dagger sucks. It really, really sucks. No, Mr. Platform. Get back here. We're not finished with you yet. Haha. -ha, I broke your face. Ah! Sc well, screw you. No, I don't. Thanks. Frickin' girl. Hate that so much. Die. Oh, same crappy weapon. Get off my platform, butt face. That is odd. If you just keep it held down and keep switching. Not really a big problem, though. Die. Yes. Now you can't get up there. It sort of seems like they're... I hate when it sh throws a flying enemy at you while you're in mid-jump. It's not unrecoverable, but... Annoying. Hey, I thought that ball went through things. We. Plus mana one. Wait. Plus one mana. Oh, hey, there was a box there. I should have tried to get that. That's probably a secret thingy that gives you more health or something. Maybe it gives you more pain. I love that he sort of, like, dances when he's in midair. Hey, right, go away. Don't interrupt the dance. It's not allowed. Alright, let's go. Dancing shall come at the end. Once again, it would have been better to just crash through those. Sort of. Oh, I should have picked up that health. You don't heal at the end of levels. Which... Sort of annoying, but not the biggest deal. Go away. No one likes you. There's stuff under here, isn't there? Oh, there's spikes. Haha, <laughs> you fell in a pit. I am smart because I'm not in that pit. Die. Oh, also, 
like many games, just constantly holding down while tapping the attack button will generally help you. Ah! No! Die! It's also sort of annoying that you have to, you do have to constantly tap it, you can't hold it down. Not too many games let you just hold it down. Some good games do that, though. Also, I noticed someone on Newgrounds commented they jumped down, like, all of these holes looking for secrets and crap. I hate games that make you do that. Oh god, it's the, the Futurama thing. Go away. Go back to Futurama. Or die. Either way. I really need to watch the new series, the new uh, seasons of Futurama. It is back. I haven't seen it since that, though. I'm not sure what those things are called. I know they're not just from Futurama. Um, oh, right, you're supposed to do a long jump here, I think. More blind jumps? I hate them. Especially when they're frickin' gargoyle jerks at the end of them. No, I don't want to submit my stupid score. Shut up, I hate you. I don't need to see the map, either. I click a continue button, I really do think that, hey, I'm gonna continue the game. But nope. I get that crap. We. I knew you were coming, I still take a damage. These guys are sort of annoying, because they do take quite a bit of hits. Just avoid their frickin' eye lasers. Their eye frickin' lasers. Frickin' laser beams. Oh, pfft. I always die right before the end of the level. I am here! Cemetery 4. Raw. Stupid zombies. I love how they're, like, balding. They're like frickin', uh, what's that guy? Donald Trump zombies. Out of my way. I have no time for skeletons. I have a little time for, um, gargoyles, whatever the hell you are. But not skeletons. Or zombies, or whatever I was saying. I don't remember. Three seconds is much too long of a time to remember. What am I doing? Why is there a recording bar? Oh god, I'm so confused. This is the orb, it's the sticky bomb, basically. It's pretty awkward, actually. Like, I guess it could be okay when enemies are, like, rushing at you. Because when they bump into the... Ah, crap. Yeah, when they bump into the sticky bombs, they can take damage, predictably. Its magic is actually okay. It doesn't make any sense, but it's okay. Also, I get to keep the crappy weapon. That's what I get for trying to show you stuff. I get crappy weapons. If you like to play super defensively and leave traps and stuff, I guess this is the weapon for you, but... It's not really the type of game this is, so it's just weird. At least there's a variety, though. I can't complain about variety. I do, but, you know. I like the fact that it's there. Uh, crop. Yeah, we already showed you. Need to show off that magic attack. Let's show it. Ow! Let's jump into that attack. It's that. It's a dude holding a barrel, and he explodes. He does two damage instead of one. It's freaking epic right there. It also only hurts one enemy, apparently. Like most magic, it's pretty lame. Aw. My, my, my trap proved useless. Like it always does. Ah, uh, bump into... Oh. I just want my frickin' shuriken. I haven't gotten that yet, have I? Shuriken's the best weapon because it's the fastest, basically. I think the hammers may be a little faster, actually, but they have a kind of awkward arc. Rejuvenation! Very glad I got that, so I don't die. See, even when I have an opportunity to lay a trap, I don't. I don't even think about it. This is not like a trap-laying game. Die. Oh, hey, no. I said die. Obey! Kneel before Zod! I've never actually seen that movie. I, I'm not really sure why I like referencing Zod. I actually don't like Superman at all. I freaking hate that entire series and the character. Like, hey, look at me. I have every superpower in the freaking book. I'm a dumbass. I can do everything, and I'm freaking magic. Except he's weak to magic. That's also proof of how lame he is. 
With the exception of Doctor Strange, pretty much nothing except for, like, RPGs can have magic without being pretty frickin' lame. Doctor Strange is just about my only accepted use of magic, because he's freaking awesome. But yeah, Superman is weak to magic. They did that in the 60s, I think, because they were tired of having every freaking villain everywhere has a pile of kryptonite in his freaking garage. So we can set traps for Superman, because Superman is going to attack every villain in their garage. He really does. That's his job. It's on his resume. Ow, I just stood on spikes. Can I please get a better weapon? Oh, hey, my trap kind of worked. Not that it was intentional, but it worked. Ah! Okay, I really want to be rid of this piece of crap weapon now. Please! And my skeleton dude goes straight through the enemy. It's great. He's not a skeleton dude, he's a running dude. I like that he jumps over stuff, though. Okay, please something give me uh, something. A weapon. A not lame one. Die. Weapon time. In case you haven't noticed, the chests always have weapons. Probably noticed. Okay, this is the Falcon. Um, it penetrates everything, except for walls. But it'll hit infinite enemies in a row, basically. Only once, though. And it does exactly as much damage as everything else. And it's really slow. It's not very helpful. The magic does two damage. It's this tornado that goes upward like that. It's not particularly helpful. I guess it's okay against uh, gargoyles. Or griffins or whatever they're supposed to be. No, they're not griffins. They're gargoyles. They're griffindoyles. That sounds like some sort of Harry Potter thing. Harry Potter in the face of Griffin Doyle. Griffin Doyle was so ugly, a book was dedicated to his face. That would be rough, man. No! Right next to a friggin' rejuvenation thing, the Futurama dude kills me. Damn it, we're not gonna get to the boss in this video, are we? That sucks. I was I could do one world per vitro. Whatever. Stop jumping! Butt face. No! Just crash through enemies. It really... It really works quite well. Ah! Except when you have this situation where there's tons of enemies following you! Run! Run! Oh, see? It worked out. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Ha! They'll explode. Let's see if we can get to the boss. Two minutes and thirty seconds. Kind of. Stupid bat. Go away. And I get two weapons when I reach the boss. Maybe one of them won't suck. I really need to find and show you guys the uh, shuriken, because I usually use it like the entire game. When I played through for fun, I got it and I just never switched. Because it's just that great. If the weapons, if like this did more knockback, or maybe more damage even, it would be better, but... Since they all do the same damage and have the same knockback, they may as speed is really the only stat that counts. Like the pattern doesn't matter very much. It does a little. Uh, don't jump from the ground here, obviously. You want to do an air jump, we, as opposed to a ground jump where you jump into the ground, because you're freaking Diglett. That's what you are. Ah. Spearface. I'm gonna call you Spearface. That is an awesome name. Oh, hey, boss time, I bet. Shuriken! Yeah! This is the rapier. It's... No, I can't show you the weapon. Or the magic. Anyway, the rapier is just a better dagger, I guess. Actually, I think it's basically the same damage and everything as the... Okay, this is death! Ah! As you can see, the, um... The magic thing is a shield, and it really does not protect you from contact damage at all. It protects you from projectiles. It does damage when it hits an enemy, but... It's usually not enough to kill anything, so... It just doesn't protect ow, you very well. Especially not against bosses. No! Never! Crap. 
30 seconds. I'm not going to be able to beat it. Ah, oh, crap. Whatever. Let's get to this boss. Do you use the same weapons again? No, you can't. Ooh, the boomerang! Let's show the boomerang. That's what the boomerang does. It looks sort of awesome, but those each do one damage. Despite the wind-up time and the awkwardness, it's, it's just lame. Anyway, next episode, we'll kill death. Causing life or something.